snakes at Fog Dam. It eats almost nothing but rats. So it's not affected by toads so much, but it is affected by rat numbers, and rat numbers are affected by rainfall. So, <laughs> so this is not a big one. This is a this is sort of an average sized water pipe, and this thing eats rats. And I don't know if you've ever seen documentaries of uh, snakes swallowing things. Their lower jaws not attached to the top jaw, so they can swallow things that are much bigger than their head. So this one would have no problem, even though its head's quite small compared to a rat. A rat, a, a large dusty rat, might be two or three hundred grams, but this guy would have no trouble swallowing them. They can swallow, you know, two or three if he had the chance. So this is this is the most abundant snake of Fog Dam, and its population around here is in the thousands. It's one of the most productive habitats for, for snakes in the world. There's not many places in the world, not in the Amazon, no, not in Africa, nowhere in, in Asia can you actually go out and, and actually see a wild python. It's extremely rare to go to the Amazon and be able to find a bow or a python. You have to look and look and look. But here, you can come to Fog Dam and see, you know, a dozen wild snakes, which is almost unheard of anywhere else in the world. So that's why Fog Dam is really famous among snake people, because you can actually come here and almost be guaranteed of seeing a snake. Whereas you could spend a week in the Amazon and you know you might not see anything. Um, any any questions?